Hey, hello everyone. So in this video, we are going to see about set in STL C++. So in the previous video we saw about iterators and vectors. Today we are going to see about a container set in C++. So let's get started. So set and vector are both containers, but there is like two to three like major differences between them. So let me go show with you like the first difference. Let, here we are having just a vector over here. So let me just comment it and let me just comment this header file also. So first thing, let's begin with the header file. For using set, we need ash include from the name itself. You can get we just set so ash include set is letter file for using set here, and the declaration is also the same over here. It's going to be set int s equal to let's have like this one comma two comma five. Okay, this is going to be our set. Okay, just imagine. Okay, next I will come to the major differences. So now. If you just put a for loop i less than s dot size i plus plus and we will just put c out s of i okay now if we just run this code we will be getting an error over here so as you can see here the reason is because the elements present inside the set can't be accessed by using indexes. We can't write s of 0 to get 1, s of 2, s of 1 to get 2 like that. So this is the first major difference. We can't access set elements by indexes, whereas we can access vector elements by using indexes. For example, let me just uh, comment this and comment this and let's, let's just put v over here and uh, if I just put v of 5 over here and if I just run this now, I'll be getting okay. I didn't include this setup right. Just put this. So we just run it now. I'll be getting one to three five output. But the same thing can't be done for set because set can't be accessed by indexes. So how to solve this is like we can use an iterator, okay? So it's going to be uh, auto. Auto is like a non-data type, okay? Auto we will have iterator. So it's going to be auto it equal to yes dot begin. And here it's going to be it not equal to yes dot end and same thing is going to be it plus plus and here uh, we are going to use asterisk of it uh, because it is address and asterisk of it will give us the uh, data percent for the user address reference. So if we just run it now. We'll be getting the elements over here. So suppose if you consider this is like really like repeating process, you can just put a for uh, int it and just put yes over here. And you can just see out it. That's it. This is also the same syntax. So if you just run it now, we just have a endl over here. See out endl. Uh, so just run it. So we can create two. Uh, okay. Same thing we are getting. So this is also like a shortcut method, okay? But the, we can just print all the elements. But the only thing is that we can't get access a particular element by using index. Like for in case of array, we can't write yes of zero, yes of one. That's the point I'm trying to make over here. So that's it. And the next, next comes the major difference, okay? Uh, let me just have this one, okay? Have a print of, okay? So now in this set, we are having like all the elements are unique like there isn't any duplicates over here one is occurring only once two is occurring only once same applies for three four five so what if i applied any duplicates so let me say i am adding here another five i'm adding here another one another two and another three so now basically our set has like these all are duplicate numbers okay so if i just print it now let me have some space for printing like Okay, so if I just same code, I'm just added. I have just added like four numbers, which are duplicates of the existing numbers. So if I just run it now, we are getting the same output. Like it's just literally the same output one, two, three, four, five. Only the first five numbers are getting printed, and the duplicates aren't printed. So this is one of the properties of set. Okay, in whatever may be the like values we are putting inside the set set automatically eliminates all the duplicate values it just consists of the distinct or the unique values okay so the repeated values are just eliminated 
and just one instance per value like it's not completely removing the duplicates for example like if it's one and one are duplicates it not it's not completely removing one from the our set it has like one value of uh, like one value of one number that's it so one occurs it's like just a single value of a number okay so for example like if I, if you put like hundreds of one also like let me just delete this all and if i just put one comma one comma one comma like this still my output is going to be like only one output is only one and another important thing is that uh, let me just comment this all okay and another important thing is that if you just go and type c out just dot size okay so we are having like what will we uh, you can guess the output literally you can guess the output over here we'll be getting the output size of set s yes, as one so as you can see we're getting the size as one so if i just add like another element over here we will be getting our uh size as two that's it so all these terms are getting neglected so this is one of the facts of our set basically there are also two types of set okay uh two types like ignoring only set there is like multi set most commonly used set i'm saying this uh unordered set as well okay so i will show you like i will also explain this in the like in within five minutes time so these are like for the set and another important fact is that let me just uncomment this thing so one is unique and another fact in sets is that set basically like automatically sorts the element in ascending order okay by default the sorting is in ascending order for example now let just let just consider our set s equal to i will just put 1 comma 12 okay 1 will be 1 1 comma 2 comma 5 comma 3 comma 3 comma 4 and it will be supposed to 9 and 0 okay so consider this is our set but in output we will be getting i am just putting it our output we will be getting in sorted in an ascending order format as you can see it gets just gets sorted so by default set basically sorts the elements present in its field. suppose what if you want these elements to get get sorted in uh, say descending order simple you are just going to put greater and int okay that's it now if i just run it we will be getting uh, 9543210 as you can see now it gets sorted in descending order so these are like some of the inbuilt uh, it uses binary search tree there is some back end process sorting takes uh, log of n sometimes there are like so many stuff uh, back end stuff happening for this sorting process so to make like keep things simple i'm just saying it's just sort of so if you want to learn the back end process like you can go and search the web and learn but that's i guess like you can know how it works but uh, if you are in, if you are interested stuff you can just ignore it that's not going to make any harm so this is how basically cert works and again same thing like if you add any duplicates it's just going to get ignored even it's getting sorted like same thing we will be having only one two now in our output same thing it just gets ignored okay now how to get uh, input in set so for vector as you know we used pushback okay we use the pushback uh, function to get a uh, input in like vector so for set it's yes dot insert okay so if you can just directly put the value let me put one and let me just copy it so uh, it's going to be like two and three so if we just run it so as you can see i'm putting the output as one two three so this is how basically like you can insert in our set and suppose how you can get input by using for loop like it's a really simple process okay so just delete it just uh, first get the size from the user okay so i will put int n and c in n okay first i'm getting the size from the user i'm just putting a for int i equal to 0 i less than uh, n i plus plus and here i'm getting the value let val be the element okay so it's going to be uh, c in val and s dot insert of val that's it so by this way like we can get the uh, input of all the elements uh, inside our set let me just run it now okay so first n we need to enter the n input okay uh, i'll we have five elements so i will type one two three four so for a change i will type one okay so as you can see here i have entered five elements over here as an input but i'm getting four elements so you know the reason why because i have entered one twice so set 
uh, does not does not should not contain any duplicate, so it basically ignores the last one that I have typed. So I'm getting four elements as the output. So this is how like you input the uh, like any elements inside said, and this is how you print it. So these are like the basic functions happening over here. Now let us go and all the other functions like arrays are common, arrays is common. I'm like clearing the set. For example, let me just clear a set and show you. So let me just remove all these things. We have set s equal to some okay, same same one two three four five over here. And if I just clear, say s yes dot clear, okay, it just clears it. So now we just put c out, okay, c out uh, set size is. So I will just copy the same thing over here. Let me just paste it over here. Just have a yandel. Okay, that's fine. So I will just show you how clear works. So now I will just run it down. So as you can see here, uh, this is this first one. Okay, first. Uh, Here I am printing like uh, size set size is five, so we are getting one two three four five and one three four five gets printed. And next thing we are just doing yes dot clear. So once we have done yes dot clear, it just removes everything inside our set and our set size becomes zero. Simple, we, it's the same thing for syntax as uh, vector as well. Same syntax as in vector. So same thing applies for set over here as well. So another thing what we can use is for like arrays function. So for arrays function also is going to be like same as in case of vector. So let's do the arrays. So it's going to be uh, Yes dot yes. We just put uh, yes dot begin and we'll just delete the first one. Okay, so now I'm just running it. Just it's just deleting the first element over here. So it's simple. Okay, so with the yes and same thing yes and stuff. So same in case of like uh, vector. Okay, so I've discussed it over there. Now let's just move on to Multi set okay, multi set and another set. So for multi set also it's just the same. If you just put M U L T I O okay, multi set that's it. Same thing. But the only thing that uh, differs over here is that we can have like duplicate values in our multi set. Okay, so now just remove it. So we just put here one comma. Okay, we put one comma two comma two. So that is twenty one. Okay, so we're having like two duplicates. One is repeated twice. Two is repeated twice. So if I just run it now, so as you can see here, it's getting sorted, sorted in ascending order. So that sorting condition isn't going off. But as you can see here, my uh, repetition is allowed over here. So duplicates are allowed in multi set, but the things are getting elements are getting sorted. Okay, so same thing. You can just put greater into or inside it. So and sort it, and all other functions are same. Okay. All the input functions are just same for our uh, multi set as well. So that's it for the multi set. And next one is unordered set. So as the name suggests, you can get it. Unordered set does not have any like uh, sorting. Okay, it's going to be unordered underscore set. Okay, so we can just okay remove this one. Okay, same input. I'm having duplicates one and two. So if I just run it now. We aren't getting in a specific order. It's not sorted in any ascending or descending. But as you can see, we aren't having any duplicates over here. So another set basically just randomly like assigns our number, which is not getting sorted. Another set is like if, you, if your purpose is just to remove the duplicates and your purpose isn't to like to get sorting because set uh, insertion function will take more time than another set because set needs to sort the element. So it will take some time for the element to just find its position sorting. But another set, as you can see, it doesn't sort. So another set is like really quick in insertion process than set. So when your purpose is just to remove the duplicates, you will, when you don't worry about this, whether the element is sorted in and stored, you can just use another set over there. Another important thing that I need to tell you, like for another set, it's it it's not present in set. Okay, so you need to like uh, include a separate header file if you aren't including bit slash. You need as include another set. So now if I just run it,
so if i just write now uh, we'll be getting our output okay so this is header file for another set and for multi set like we can just use our set header file itself there isn't going to be any change just put multi set over here and if you just remove this our multi set will be working over here that's it it's working fine so that's it for this video i hope you would have had like a good understanding about set so same thing for operations as we are algorithms as well you can also use sort find over here that's less the same thing repeating for over here so you can just go and watch vector and you can just get a good idea about set as well so i will be also doing other many other stl uh, containers as well as algorithms so do so check and support this playlist and i also done many other programming videos in c uh, c++ as well and java python as well as 3d animation using blender and unity so do check other videos of my channel subscribe and support me thanks for watching